Tonight, an original report. DNA testing kits. People are turning to them to discover their ancestry. But can you trust the results? CBS 2's My Martinez put three of the most popular ones to the test using her DNA. And as you'll see, she had some surprises. I've always known my mother was Vietnamese and my father was Cuban, but due to the Vietnam War, the Cuban Revolution, and other tragic circumstances, little is known about my ancestors. So I thought sending my DNA to three testing companies might provide some answers. Dr. Lee Shulman, Northwestern's Chief of Clinical Genetics, guided me through the results. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. But you knew. I, I figured that there would be a possibility of being Chinese and Vietnamese. 46.1%. No surprises on my mother's side. But on my father's side, you got Ireland. Some. Remember, this is not necessarily that you have Irish relatives. You have a genomic sequence that may be similar to what is found uh, in the British Isles. I said the only thing that would surprise me if there's something like Irish or Scottish there in there, go. and there's 6%. So maybe you should go get that killed. And that wasn't the only surprise Ancestry DNA found. While the results showed my DNA was primarily East Asian, 41%, it also found links to Southern Europe, primarily Italy and Greece, and the Iberian Peninsula, primarily Spain and Portugal, as well as a 5% link to Great Britain, 1% link to France or Germany, and 1% to Africa. That is most likely the result of your father's side in Cuba with a you know great admixture of people from southern Europe, Afro Caribbean, etc. I shared the news with my dad via Skype. I have no idea where that comes from. I just uh, I also have an affinity for the Vikings, so I would like to see something from uh, Norway and that area. Well, we have 3.1% uh, from the Baltics. That was according to MyHeritage, which also found my DNA to be 36.7% Iberian, 2.5% Italian, 2.9% North African, and 2.8% Middle Eastern. 23andMe found similar results, but upped the Italian to 3.3% and added 1.4% French and German. So why the differences between the tests? Dr. Shulman says each company uses its own algorithm. In a sense, the frequency of the genomic sequence that's unique to that population. And so how accurate do you think this information is? While the, the specific numbers may be slightly different, I think they have all accurately assessed your, your ancestry. My Martinez, CBS2 News. The test ranged in price from $69 to $99. Ancestry was the fastest at returning results, taking about two weeks. 23andMe took about two and a half weeks, and MyHeritage took a little more than a month. While Dr. Shulman says these tests can be entertaining, people could not count on them for any medical diagnosis.